welcome again uh, we will start our new topic which is batteries i will specifically discuss as example the battery gas batteries okay a cell or connected group of cells that convert chemical energy into electrical energy by a reversible chemical reaction and that may be recharged by passing in current through it in the direction opposite to that of its discharge called also storage cell primary the primary batteries convert chemical energy to electrical energy directly using the chemical material within the cell to start the action the secondary batteries must first be charged with electrical energy before it can convert chemical energy to electrical energy okay then so the secondary battery is frequently called a storage battery since it stores the energy that is supplied to it <coughs> Uh, it means there are two type of batteries uh, one is primary batteries another one is secondary batteries example of primary batteries are dry cell pencil cells that we are using they have material such material that it's start reacting and and it is and it is can be used once so another type is rechargeable so you have to connect electrical energy supply to the batteries it will charge and then you can discharge so these are two example of the batteries okay so we will move on uh, first of all the primary uh, batteries like dry cell use an electrolyte paste the electrolyte paste reacts with the electro electrodes to produce a negative charge on one electrode and positive charge on the other the difference of potential between the two electrodes is output voltage so let's see the battery construction this is a typical dry battery that we have shown here positive you can see here this is a positive terminal down here is a negative terminal uh, it is zinc can okay here you can see the fiber washer here you can see the main terminal is carbon uh, also there is a space available the core finely divided carbon with manganese and zinc chloride which is reacting with the carbon rod to produce voltages electrolyte paste starch and or floor and inhibitor so this is the basically structure of dry cell now we'll move to the secondary batteries acid batteries uh, electrolyte for most part distilled pure water with some acid mixed with the water electrolyte must be of dissimilar metals an active electrolyte so this is example of acid batteries here you can see this is the terminal a vent is provided here uh, to release gases this is intercell connection you can see this is the plates and this this one is separator and this is the case this is lead example of lead acid battery okay cells uh, now battery is uh, the secondary battery or lead aspect is made of cell so here you can see this is a positive electrode this is a negative electrode in between this uh, it is electrolyte and also you can find here porous separator here so this is the basically structure of batteries basic principle of wet cell uh, okay how it's uh, it's operating so <clears throat> the metal in a cell are called the electrodes and the chemical solution called the electrolyte these are metals these are called electrodes this is the solution it is called electrolyte combining it they are forming cell so both are of different material do both electrodes of a different material the electrodes react oppositely with the two different electrodes it causes one electrode to lose electron and develop a positive charge and it causes one another electrode to build up surplus of electrons and develops a negative charge the difference in potential between the two electrodes charges is the cell voltage at at one electrode it has an uh, extra 
electrons and here we have a deficiency of electrons which is making it positive here negative so the current will flow electrolyte when charging the first start when charging first started electrolyte broke down each water molecule h2o into hydrogen and oxygen ion the positive hydrogen ion attract the negative ions from each electrode this combination produce h2so4 which is sulfuric acid so this is an example how this electrolyte is is working again the specific gravity the ratio of weight of a given volume of a substance to the weight of a equal of volume of of some some reference substance or equivalent the ratio of masses of equal volume of two substances example it is a weight of sulfuric acid water mixture compared to the equal volume of water pure water has a specific gravity of 1 so its specific gravity is basically uh comparing two different quantities it is a comparator it is a ratio of the weight of given volume of substance to the weight of equal volume of another reference substance so for example if uh, we are saying specific gravity of electrolyte is 1.2 or 1.3 it means it is for the same volume of water it is 20% or 30% more heavier so this is how the explanation is working uh, uh in how you will measure the uh density specific gravity of the electrolyte this is a device which is called hydrometer using this device you can measure the specific gravity how it's working you will press this black color float it will absorb or draw the uh, uh electrolyte in it and this float will uh, this float will float on uh, in the electrolyte and you will see and the the, uh, the position marking and you can measure the specific uh, gravity okay uh, for lead acid especially there are other types of batteries in which specific gravity is not increasing or decreasing is independent but for lead acid the specific gravity uh, uh, increases when the battery is charged so you in in the maintenance you have to continuously check the battery's specific gravity if it is go beyond going the certain level it means the charging is not healthy and you have to look for your charger okay the another topic is you can connect batteries in series uh in series if you connect the battery in series the voltage will increase you will get more voltage but the current capacity will remain same the positive terminal of one cell is connected to the negative terminal of the next and it is is called as series connected batteries the voltage of this type of battery is the sum of individual cells so here you can see plus is connected to minus and and so on in this voltage will of the bank will increase but current will remain same the current will be same as of one cell parallel connected batteries parallel batteries are connected in parallel neg all negatives are connected together and positive are connected together in this way the voltage sum of the voltage will remain same but but the capacity or the current supply of the bank will be added up of the individual batteries connect the negative terminal from one cell to the negative of the other connect the positive terminal to the positive terminal is 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 is, is a parallel connection voltage remain constant and current is commutative here is another unique example where you are connecting the batteries in series connection and and also mix of mix it is mix up of series and parallel connection you can see here so in this way what you are doing some of the batteries are in series some are in parallel and in this way you are increasing the voltage rating and current rating of the it is together okay charging commissioning stage uh, and operational stage so during commissioning stage you have to charge the batteries so first time it will be take take really a good good charge because they are impedance not charged or never charged before so it will be okay, you can use the constant voltage method or constant current method and constant voltage method will keep the voltage constant as current can be varied in the constant current method the current will remain constant and while the voltage can be varied so operational stage uh, there are two charging method one is float one is boost if the, the battery normally 
the battery will remain on the float charge the voltage of float we have mentioned per cell are less 1.4 volt 1.42 volts the boost charge voltages are, are very high 1.55 1.7 so if the battery voltage drops from the certain level the automatically there is a setting in the charger it's go automatically from float to boost so it's boosting up the charge of the battery and again it is coming back to the float so for the normal operation okay uh, we will discuss electrolyte again the electrolyte for nickel cadmium batteries consists of dilute caustic potash solution a specific grave t 1.2 kg per liter uh, plus minus with a lithium hydroxide component in accordance with IC 6993 the caustic potash solution uh, is prepared in accordance with factory regulation the specific gravity of electrolyte does not allow any conclusion to be drawn on the charging state of the battery it changes only slightly during charging and discharge and is only minimum related as I told you in the previous type of batteries, the specific gravity is increasing with charge and it's increasing with charge. But nickel cadmium, as I told you, this type of, in this type of batteries, nickel cadmium batteries, the specific gravity is not depending upon the charge. So you have to keep in mind which type of batteries you have in your station. Okay, routine maintenance. Uh, what type of routine maintenance you can do here? Uh, batteries must be kept clean using water only you should not use acid or some other solution on it wire brush or solvent of any kind are not allowed wire brush can uh, produce a short circuit so they are not allowed vent cap can be rinsed in water if necessary must be dried before using them so sometimes vent caps are chalked so it will what will happen the air will not go, not go out of the uh, battery and it will result in de-shaping of the pressure will increase inside the battery and uh, it might de and damage the battery cell. Connection nuts tightness should be checked in every six months. You have to check all the tightness six monthly. Check water level and never let the level fall below the lower level. So why it's very important because if the level fall below the level uh, specific level then battery plates will be exposed and, and when it is exposed to air it will damage very quickly. Refilling with electrolyte is only permissible if specific uh, spilled electrolyte has to replace. So normally what happens if oil lab, uh, this uh, electrolyte level is coming down, you have to just fill the distilled water. You should not fill the electrolyte. If you are keep on filling the electrolyte, what will happen? The specific gravity will be raised, which is not recommended from the manufacturer. Once the batteries have been filled with correct electrolyte, there is no need to check electrolyte density periodically. Use only distilled or deionized uh, water. Temperature of electrolyte should never exceed 45 degrees centigrade. This is the specification I am just giving you as an example for gas batteries. During charging, aim for temperature 35 degrees centigrade. Do not place electrical conductive object near to the battery. Risk of short circuit or fire. When working on cell rubber gloves, safety goggles with side guards and protective clothing must be used. So this is an example of my routine maintenance specifically for the gas batteries as example a practical example i have shown you okay thank you very much this is uh, all about